I have the privilege of introducing the Public Defender of the Year today. And I'm really excited, not just because she's from my, she practices in my hometown. Not, I don't think we're from the same hometown. Um, but this is, you know, there are some lawyers who have uh, a great year and are recognized, and there are some lawyers who are just dynamic year in and year out, and there are some lawyers who participate in training of all of us and sharing their knowledge in, a, in a, just a compelling way. And then there's uh, Tracy, who's pretty much everything. Uh, and I have, I did do a little spying on you, uh, Tracy. You are Georgetown undergrad, Emory Law School and I'm told was a student of Stephen Bright, which completely explains her verve, uh, elan, dedication, and you know, frankly, take no prisoners toughness that our job requires. Um, when I ask for adjectives for Tracy, you know, pretty much spectacular is what comes out of everyone's mouth first, but then tough is the second adjective. I don't know if you know that or not. I do now. Okay, uh, tough. Um, I would say real. If you watch, I have not seen Tracy in action in the courtroom, but I've seen her do some trainings. And what you get from her, from her hard-earned experience, is also real advice with real clients and real jurors and what you can do. Uh, nothing esoteric here. This is just hit the ground running kind of stuff. And then most recently, well, within a year uh, ago, uh, Ms. Owens had not one, but two capital cases, I believe, that started, both started in the same year. Yeah. I know you're trying to block it out. Um, one of which she was of counsel and one was standby, if I'm advisory. not mistaken. Advisory counsel. I know there's a difference. I try not to advisory even think about either one. handcuffed to a runaway train. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Handcuffed to a runaway train with roller skates. See, our office doesn't do that. Okay, we just, we say no, and some poor private schmo has to do that. Sorry, you guys. Um, and that is just, you know, that's pretty much watching your client do really horrifying things and not being able to do anything because it's really not your client. You're the lawyer, but he's not the client. Uh, and so that takes a certain amount of patience. Again, toughness probably. That word comes up again. Uh, but also stick to and empathy. And that's the bottom line, too, is in, you cannot meet Tracy and not know that she has empathy for her clients, for the victims within the situation, for bringing the best resolution uh, in her client's behalf and in a very humane way. She's at the alternate public defender, too, which was news to me, which I know it's been a few years now. Uh, but, uh, you know, and, and as so often happens, probably even gets the more heinous cases because you guys always have to do the co-defendant cases and things that have been marsed in and all those kinds of things. And I think it's very well suited to her temperament and skill level. Um, the other adjective was modest and kind of flying under the radar kind of gal. It doesn't really uh, toot her own horn and doesn't really seek the recognition. So we always like to rip people like you out of the, the, from under the radar and bring you up here. But I'm saying the color of your dress seems to be wanting it's to attract to attention. It's a big orange dress. <laughs> right. And so I think she's dressed for the moment, our public defender of the year, Tracy Owens. Thank you guys so much. Um, first, I want to thank CPDA, the Board of Directors, the wonderful staff for putting on just a beautiful event and for not naming me Defender of the Year when it's in Blythe or <laughs> <laughs> Kettleman City. <laughs> Those are wonderful places if you're from there, but to be from. So thank you for that. And I won't be up here for very long, but while I am, I would like for everyone in the room to think about our obligation to contribute to each other, because that's kind of what this award has taught me. And I have been ripped um, from my comfort zone, sometimes kicking and screaming, but I'm glad. And we give so much to our clients, and I think that kind of comes naturally, but we forget about our obligation to give to each other. And that's one of the things that the training program has taught me. Um, 
anyone who knows me, and I know Michael is laughing right now, knows that I am most comfortable in the back of the room. And I can go a long time without saying anything to anybody. It's not that, it's just, I, I'm quiet. And I'm happy <laughs> under the radar. I'm happy at the back of the room. And the first time I got a phone call about doing a training, it was in 2003, it was Mark Arnold, and he left me a voicemail. And I listened to it, and I actually forwarded it to the person who had occupied the office before me. <laughs> because it couldn't possibly, he couldn't, I didn't even know how he got my name. It couldn't be possible that somebody would want me to talk about anything. Because I don't really have that much to say. And I don't find myself to be terribly interesting. So <laughs> I thought it was a mistake. And when he called again, and I answered the phone, and he assured me that it was not a mistake, then I got scared because I wasn't sure that I had anything helpful to say. And this has taught me that everyone in this organization has a unique perspective and has something to share. There's someone in here right now who has something to share that we haven't heard before. And I want those people to realize that if I can stand up here and do this, and if I can figure out a way to help a client who's not mine by talking to that person's attorney, you guys can too. And we actually have an obligation to do that for each other. We support our clients naturally, but we're also here to support each other and teach each other what we know. And that's what this organization has taught me. And I want to thank you guys for that, because I wouldn't have done it if somebody hadn't forced me. Um, and I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad that you did, because it's helping me to get to who I'm supposed to be. I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way. And I've grown so much by knowing you guys. This is the coolest group of people ever because we're like charismatic misfits and, <laughs> and compassionate rebels. And it's, it's a wonderful group of people. And it's so nice to know that there's more than one out there. So thank you for that. A special thank you to Michael Ogle because I see Michael coming down the hallway and I sprint from him. <laughs> but Michael is very nimble <laughs> and he always catches me. And he encourages me to interact and support and hopefully assist my colleagues. And that actually has made me grow more than anything that I've ever said that's helped any one of you. So I thank you guys for that. Thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got the clock. That was great. Okay. All right, it's my first day on the job, all right? I, I forgot the plaque. Um, from the California Public Defenders Association for Tracy Owens, Defender of the Year Award. Tracy Owens, Deputy Alternate Public Defender, Santa Clara County. In recognition of your dedicated work as a public defender, as shown by your stellar record of trial work, your unwavering commitment to your clients, and your genuine concern for the community you serve and public defenders everywhere, you are hereby recognized as Defender of the Year 2012, awarded by unanimous resolution of the Board of Directors of the California Public Defenders Association on March 2nd, 2012. Thank you, guys. Says it all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.